Good morning, guys. Uh, today we're going to study spelling list number three. And spelling list number three covers words with long I and long O sound. Okay. Long I sound is when the letter inside the word sounds like I. And when, uh, long O means uh, the, um, sound like O inside the word. All right. Today is October 5th, and the session is being recorded. So let's start. So the first word is sign. Sign means something such as a poster. A sign is like a poster that conveys information. For example, here you have some traffic signs, and they give us information when we are driving. So they convey information. These are signs, different signs. Groan. Groan is to make a deep, low sound expressing pain, sorrow, or, or disapproval. For example, when somebody um, makes a, an, uh, a sound like, oh, ah, when they are, <laughs> have a, a backache, like this guy in the picture, uh, that's a groan, the sound that, that he made. Reply, to give an answer. Like when you reply an email or you reply a question, okay, you're answering. Throne. Throne is the past participle of the verb throw. So, for example, this pitcher, he has thrown the ball. Okay, it's in the past. He already did it. Strike. Continuing with our baseball. Uh, strike is to hit a ball. I know that this may seem confusing in baseball because strike is when you don't hit it, but here uh, the meaning of the word really is that is to hit it. When you hit a ball, you strike it. Also, strike is called uh, when you are playing bowling and with one, uh, your first uh, throw, you throw all the pins away, the 10 pins, okay? That's a strike. And strike is also uh, when people are not happy with some conditions, uh, for example, at work, and they decide not to work and to protest. So they go on a strike. Okay, they are on strike. Mighty. Mighty is having to show, uh, having or showing great power. Look, for example, Mighty Mouse here. Is showing that he has great power. Stroll, to walk or wander around in a slow, relaxed way. Like this couple here, they are having a stroll. Okay, they are on a stroll down this lane. Compose, to make or create by putting together parts or elements. Like when you compose music. Though, is a Soft, soft, thick mixture of ingredients that is shaped and usually baked, like bread dough or pizza dough. And height is the distance from bottom to top, your height. Okay, measured, it could be measured in centimeter, centimeters, uh, inches, uh, feet, meters, okay, whatever. Word 11, excite, is to bring up strong feelings. This guy is excited, excited. Apply, to put on or to, to devote to something. For example, when you apply makeup on, women apply makeup on. Slight, slight is small in amount or degree, and you will see this picture and you will say, what? Okay, so slight, the difference is that here we have a line, right? This one is slightly curved, but this one has a strong curve. So slight means, as I said before, small in amount. It has a small amount of curvature, okay? Odor, sorry, uh, defined. Define is what we're doing right now. We're giving all the meanings of the words. We're defining them, okay? So to define is to give the meaning of. 
odor, a smell, or a scent. Okay. Spider, it's an animal with eight legs and two body parts that spins a web to catch insects, like this one here. Control, or control. Control is to manage and regulate. It's a verb and it's also a noun. Our remote control, for example, that is a device to uh, use to set or run a machine. So control like a verb and control like uh, the device. Silent is to be quiet. Brighten is to make or become more filled with light. Here where we brighten the picture and it looks now like this. We filled it with light and now we have this one. That is to brighten. Approach, to move near or nearer somebody. And a way of beginning to deal with or work with something. So in this case, we have the verb. She's approaching her, maybe mom, okay? So we have this definition, to move or near or nearer in the picture. Word 21, to uh, sight. To let out a long deep breath, like our friend here, he has let out a long deep breath, so it's a sigh, and you do, ah, that's a sigh, twice, two times, okay, something that has been done for two times, it has been done twice, shown, past participle of show, so maybe, her mom taught her uh, before or shown her how to knit, and now she's telling her again how to do it. Uh, tonight is on or during the night of this day. The night of today is tonight. Remote, far away, distant. Distant, it could be also distant in time or relationship. In this case, in the picture, we have distance in space. Uh, it's far away. We see these uh, mountains here, they are remote. Require, to need or call for, to demand or order. So, require this uh, lady here, maybe she's a secretary or a receptionist, she's asking the guy, what does he require? Reproach, to express disapproval of. Okay, like for example, this uh, parent, maybe they are reproaching their daughter for something they do not approve of. Defy, to dare, to challenge. I defy you to something. Flight, a situation of difficulty, like the situation uh, these people are in, this is their plight. Opponent, a person or a group that opposes another in battle. For example, these two guys here, they are opponents. Sorry, uh, previous. Okay, so now we're going to work on the spelling book. Uh, as you know, the spelling book is your homework and you need to submit it uh, no later than next Friday. Also, uh, you will find the spelling uh, list word in Academia, as well as this presentation. The due date for the homework is October 9th. So let's work now with uh, the book. So.